we're here to do a little yoga today. All right, so I'm gonna start from the top of my head, to kind of release some tension from my neck, and then move on down the body, and then we'll get to moving. All right, so we're gonna bring our palms down, we're facing on our thighs. We're gonna close our eyes, bring our chin parallel to the mat. We're gonna take some deep grounding breaths in through our nose and out. Exhale completely, emptying both lungs. Big inhale, fill both lungs up completely to the top. And exhale completely, emptying both lungs. Big inhale. As you inhale, bring your palms together. Rest your thumbs against your heart center and continue that, that deep breathing pattern as you start. And exhale completely. On your next inhale, I want you to begin to set an intention for this practice, something that you want to learn about yourself, something that you want to incorporate on your mat and take off into your everyday life. So continue that, that breathing. Exhale. And once you got, you have that intention set in your mind, I want you to, on your exhale, bow your head to your hands and to your intentions to lock it in. Inhale, bring your chin parallel to the mat, and slowly begin to blink your eyes open. Now from here, you're gonna bring your palms downward facing on your thighs. I'm gonna do some, some neck circles just to, re to relax and release any tension in the neck. I'm gonna start by bringing the right ear to the right shoulder on the inhale, and then circle the head down, and bring the left ear to your left shoulder on your exhale. And go back, head all the way up. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. And then head goes to center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And back. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. And head forward. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And back. One more on this side, inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Then head forward to the center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And head back. Inhale here. And then on your next inhale, bring the left ear to your left shoulder. Then forward, exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, head up and back. Exhale, right ear, I'm sorry, left ear, left shoulder. And head forward. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. And back. Two more times like this. Inhale, left ear, left ear, left shoulder. And forward. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. And back. Inhale, left ear. Left shoulder, head center in the front, and then exhale, left ear, right ear, right shoulder. Now you're gonna bring your head up on the inhale, bring your chin parallel to your mat. And we're gonna move to those shoulders. We're gonna take our left hand down beside the left thigh, big inhale, take the right arm up, and exhale, extend the right arm overhead. And if you can comfortably look up at the right arm, Then inhale back to center, both arms rise to the left. Look up at your thumbs. Exhale, right arm, down beside your right thigh. Exhale, left arm over your head and look up at it. 
Inhale back to center, both arms rise. Exhale, left hand comes down. See if you can create a little more space on this bend. Open up their side ribs. Inhale, back to center, both arms rise to the sky. Look up at those thumbs. Exhale, right hand comes down. Again, see if you can create a little more space in the side ribs on the left side. Inhale, back to center, both arms rise. Exhale, bring the left hand down. See if you can bring that left forearm down if you feel extra flexible today. And then right arm overhead. Get a little more space in those side ribs on the right side. And inhale, both arms rise, extend both hands. Exhale, right arm down. Again, see if you can come to that forearm. And extend the left arm over here. Inhale, come back to center, both arms rise. Palms meet at the top. Exhale, hands on the bar, center. On your inhale, take the left hand behind your back. Right hand on top of the left knee. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. And turn to look over that left shoulder. Inhale, back to center, hands at your heart. Exhale, right hand behind your back, left hand on top of your right knee. Inhale here. Exhale, lifting it up to your core, twist and look over the right shoulder. Inhale, back to center, hands at your heart. Exhale, left hand behind your back, right hand on top of the left knee. Inhale. Exhale, twist. You can create a little more space here. Inhale back to center. Right hand behind your back. Left hand on top of the right knee. Inhale. Exhale, twist, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center, hand of your heart. And right hand on top of the left knee, left hand behind your back, exhale, twist. And inhale, hands back to center. Next inhale, right hand behind your back, left hand on top of the left knee, big exhale, twist. Looking over the right shoulder. And inhale back to center, hands at your heart. This time you're going to inhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze your, your back muscles together, extend the head up, inhale. And exhale, release the hands, hold over your thighs. And then inhale, come up with a flat back, and a blast. Interlace those fingers behind your back, see if you can get the opposite finger on top, so the uh, non-dominant hand on top. Squeeze those lats together, inhale, head up and back. Exhale, release the hands, and fold forward over your thighs. Big inhale, come over the flat back. And this time, do whichever one feels comfortable for you, interlace those fingers. Squeeze your lats together, inhale, head up and back. And then exhale, fold over those thighs. And he'll come over the flat back. I'm gonna turn sideways. So we warmed up the spine, got the neck loose. Now we gotta warm up the abdominal wall. Alright, so we're gonna bring the, the feet flat on your mat. Inhale, extend your hands forward, and then back to your feet, your core engage. I'm gonna float the feet just above the mat. And three more breaths. On your exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Drop your heels down, hug both knees. Bring your chest to your thighs. Three breaths here. 
So when the Wazari and the Hedge, I guess one of the dads, I guess one of the dads, but the outside of this day, I want to take it up a little higher. I guess one of the dads, I guess one of the dads. Next inhale, send both hands forward, bring back to your feet, your core engaged. So I'm going to try to bring our shins parallel to the mat. Or as close as you can get. That core is super tight. Three more breaths. On your exhale, pull those knees to your chest. Drop your heels down. Hug both knees. Bring your chest to your thighs. Extend to the crown of your head. So you're longing the spine. And breathe. So just so you know, my favorite number is three. So everything we do will probably be done three times. Elevated each time, so just a disclaimer. <laughs> okay, next inhale, send both hands forward, make back to your core engage. Let's float the feet up as high as you can get them. Make sure you keep the core super tight. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. Try not to curve the spine. Try to keep it straight. So you're activating your core and your back muscle because that is what consists of your core. And three more breaths here. And exhale, bend those knees, put your knees into your chest. Heel it down, hug both knees. Chest and thighs, if you're long here through the spine. And breathe. Alright, so as usual, I'm going to incorporate some Pilates to help strengthen that, strengthen and awaken the core. On your inhale, extend both hands. Lean back to you for your core engage. Now we're gonna extend the right foot and the left. Exhale, uh, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Okay, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Four more. Stick with me. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Now pull both knees into your chest. Drop those heels down. Hold both knees in. And breathe. Strong core helps you feel anything. Strong core is very, very important for the health of the body. Alright, so we have two more abdominal exercises. Extend both hands forward and back until you feel your core engaged. And I'm going to show you two, two variations of the very same exercise. And then we'll get into it. So, the first variation is you can rest your, stretch your legs out, rest your heels on the ground, on your exhale, pull your knees to your chest. And then extend back up, hips to the ground. If you want more of a challenge, <clears throat> you're going to float the feet, exhale, pull them in, and I'll extend. So they never touch. Okay? Alright, two breaths. 
and we'll get it to it. Inhale, just bring both hands forward, come back to you for your core. Engage, float those feet, or bring the heels to the mat. Your choice. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Exhale. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last one. Exhale. And pull those knees all the way in. Drop the heels to the mat. Pull your chest to your thighs. And breathe. All right, so from here, you can cross your legs in front of your mat. And we're gonna roll forward to all fours. Now, if you can't, just roll over like, like so. And there's plenty of ways to get there. So you take the leg back and go that way. Whatever works for your body. Listen to your body, very important. That's what the yoga practice is about, listening to your body. So, we're gonna roll forward to all fours. I'm going to tuck the toes under here. So make sure that your wrists and shoulders are aligned. And on your inhale, we want to float the knees right above the mat to engage the core. So I don't know if you can see that. A little space there. We're just floating the knees. Engage the core. Four, three, two, one, and bring the knees down. Toenails down as well. Inhale. Exhale, push your bottom back to your knees. Put child's pose, four, one, for two. Inhale, come forward to all four. Tuck those toes under. Engage your core deep. We're going to lift the legs up just a little higher. Keep that core super tight. Feel free to move around if you can hear a feel like back here. Keep the core super engaged. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come down under control. Toenails down, inhale. Exhale, push those hips back to your heels. Inhale, come forward to all four. Tuck those toes under. We're going to float them up as high, well, not as high as you can, but a little higher. Right about there. About a fist and a half. <laughs> four, five, four, three, two, and one. This time I'm gonna straighten the legs. Try to bring those heels down to your mat, the downward dog, first one of the class. Inhale, come to your toes. Exhale, drop the heels down. Inhale, come to your toes. Exhale, drop the heels down. One more. Big inhale, come up to your toes. Exhale, drop the heels down as best you can. And feel free to walk the legs out to create more space in the back of your legs. Exhale, ground both heels. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Bend your knees, drop your bottom to your heels. And step or hop your feet between your hands. Big inhale, half your lift. Exhale, fold. 
Maybe he'll bend both knees and he'll come with a flat back and a flat. Hands follow the central line of the body. Shoot hands all the way up. And follow the knees come up at the center. Exhale, hands are over your heart. <clears throat> I wanted to incorporate a little more spinal flexibility here. So, let's take our feet about shoulder width apart. Big as hell, you're gonna fly your hands all the way up. Now on your exhale, you're gonna tilt your hips forward and lean back. Inhale, come all the way up straight. And exhale, fold. Inhale, slightly bend both knees, come over the flat back. And follow the central line of the body. And exhale, tilt those hips forward so you can get a little more space. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. One more time. Slightly bend those knees and he'll come over the flat back. And follow the center line of the body. Exhale, hips go forward. Inhale up straight. Exhale, fold. Now we're going to center the right hand on your mat. I'm going to slightly bend the left knee. Inhale, extend the left hand to the sky and twist. I'm sorry, bend the right knee. Exhale, left hand comes down. I'm going to slightly bend the left. Inhale, right hand to the sky. And exhale, right hand comes down. Bend that right knee. Inhale, left hand to the sky. So you can create a little more space. Exhale, left hand comes down. Bend the left knee. Inhale, right hand to the sky. And exhale, right hand comes down. Straighten the left knee. The slightly bend that left, sorry, the right knee. And extend the left hand to the sky. If you have a little more shoulder flexibility here, you can take this left arm behind your back and try to slide it at the hip crease and twist. If you took that bind, inhale, extend the arm up. And exhale, left hand comes down, straighten the right leg. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half a lift. And center the left hand. Bend the left knee. Inhale, right hand to the sky. And if you took that bind on the left side, then you gotta try it on the right. So, again, I'm gonna take the hand behind the back. Try to find that hip crease with your hand if you can. Mine is covered by my shirt. And then inhale, open up the chest. If you took the body, inhale, release, extend the hand to the sky. And exhale, both right hand comes down, side to the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Next, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend both knees, ground both palms, set the right foot back. Left foot back into plank. Exhale, come down slow and controlled into Chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, upper dog, a little cobra, tuck the toe down. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back for downward dog. Now do a body scan here. To see if you have any, any extra space that you didn't have before. Any extra sensations. And on your next inhale, look forward to your hands. Bend those knees, drop your bottom to your heels and step or hop your feet. Between your hands. Big inhale, half your lift. Exhale, fold. 
Slightly bend both knees, and he'll come with a flat back. Flat. Head ball in the center line. Up your body to the sky. Palms reach. And exhale, fold hands. Again, trace that center line. Inhale, half and lift. Exhale, bend both knees. Round both palms. Step or hop your feet back to plank. Exhale, come down slow and control the chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, upper dog, or little cobra, tuck those stone down on your back. Exhale, lift those hips up and back for a downward dog. Trying to get the body warm with a little non star A or sun salutations. Next inhale, look forward to your hands. Drop the bottom to your heels. In step, hop or float. Your feet between your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeply, chest to thighs. Slightly bend both knees, and they'll come with a flat back. And follow the center line of energy in the body. Palm to the center. Exhale, hands over your heart. Big inhale, swan dive the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half and lift. Exhale, bend both knees, ground both palms. Step or hop your feet back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, all the way down. Inhale, upper dog, little cobra. Exhale, tuck those toes under. Lift your hips up and back for down and down. Next inhale, look forward to your hands. Drop your bottom to your heels. Step, hop, or float those hands forward to between your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Slightly bend both knees, and inhale, come with a flat back. And a blast, arms follow the center line of your body. On the inhale. Fall on the knees. Exhale, hands over your heart center. Scoop the arms down, lift it up, inhale. On the exhale, drop your bottom back into chair. Ukatasana. Look down and make sure you see all ten toes. If not, scoot your bottom back to the back of your mat. Focus over your thumbs here. And, excuse me, palms come together. And so straighten both legs for a fold. Inhale, half a Exhale, bend both knees, ground both palms, step, hop, or float the feet back to Chaturanga this time. Exhale, come down. Inhale, upper dog, a little cobra. Now you can exhale back to downward dog if you would like, or for extra challenge, inhale, come down to a second Chaturanga and take the toes under. Exhale, push up the plank, and then back to downward dog. Center that left foot on your mat. Inhale, right foot straight to the sky. On your exhale, bend the right knee, bring it to hover under your chest. Lift up in your core to create space, and then step or place the right foot between your hands. Ground the back foot to 45 degrees. Make sure that your chest is aligned with the front thigh. And have arms rising over one. Now again, try to make sure that the hips are square to, your, to the front of your mat, the short end here.
Exhale, both hands come down to frame that right foot. Come up on the toes of the left. Engage the core deeply. Lift the right leg. And then place the right foot beside the left. Under control. Exhale, come down slow and control to your mat. Hold it, try to run the hover. In your lower dog, a little cobra. And again, you can exhale back to down dog. Or inhale, set the toes under, come to a second chaturanga. Push up the plank and back to down dog. Always yogi shoulders. Center the right foot on the mat. Inhale, left foot straight to the sky. On your exhale, bring the left knee to hump on your chest. Lift up with your core to create space. And then step or place the left foot between your hands. Exhale, round the left, right foot. Inhale, come off chest square, step in front of your mat. Ch chest and hips. And then on your exhale, both hands come down to frame that left foot. Come up on the toes of your right. Engage your core deeply. Lift that left foot. And extend the left foot down beside the right. Exhale, chaturanga all the way down, but slow and control either way. Inhale, upper dog, a little cobra. Exhale back to downward dog or inhale. Second chaturanga. Then exhale. Plank and back to downward dog. <laughs> inhale, look forward to your hands. In your knees, drop your bottom to your heels and step, hop, or float your feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. On your inhale, halfway lift. Drop your bottom down and extend both hands in the chair. And palms come together. Exhale, straighten both legs. I'm going to speed it up just a smidge. And add a little more challenges in there. Big inhale, so down and up on the inhale. Exhale, drop the bottom down. Extend the both hands. This time we're going to bring our palms together. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, and press so your chest doesn't collapse to the bottom arm. Look to the wall, look to the ceiling above you. Next, we're going to look down in front of the right foot. Now we're going to work that balance a little bit. So take all the weight of your body into the right foot. Engage your core deeply. And begin to lift the left foot. Now this is where you feel comfortable Stay here. If you want more of a challenge, extend the left foot back behind you. Lift through the heels. Activate the glutes. Lower back. On your exhale, bend the left knee. And then everybody places the left foot beside the right. Big inhale, extend. Both hands to center line. All right, palms come together. Exhale. Right elbow, left knee. And twist. Inhale, look down at the left foot. <clears throat> Engage the core deeply. Float their right or extend it. Good choice. Either way, keep that core engaged. On your exhale, bend the right knee 
and bring it down, slow and control, right foot beside the left. Inhale, extend. On your exhale, straighten both legs, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend both knees, ground both palms. Step or hop the feet back in the plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Go all the way down. Inhale, upper dog, a little cobra on the inhale. Exhale, go back to downward dog or inhale. Set the toes under, come to a second chaturanga. Two push ups. Up. Inhale, down. Exhale, push up. And then back to downward dog. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Bend your knees, drop your bottom to your heels. You're gonna step or hop, both feet between your hands. Inhale, half through lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, drop your bottom down, hands rise in the chair. And palms reach. Exhale, straighten both legs. I'm gonna take it even further. Big inhale, fly both hands up. Palms meet. Gonna exhale, squat down. I'm gonna bring your hands to our center here. Center that left foot, engage the core deeply. I'm gonna lean forward. Begin to float and extend to the right. And if you want more of a challenge, extend those hands forward and full warrior through. And palms me. Hands back to your center. Bend the right knee. Lift the right foot beside the left. Back in the chin. Extend both of those hands. And palms come together. Hands over your heart. Take all the weight of your body onto the right foot. And extend to the left. Activate the lower back. And exhale. Left foot beside the right. Inhale, extend. Inhale, your exhale, straighten both legs forward, fold. Probably feel a little tension in your lower back. So on your exhale, you're gonna fold a little deeper. You're gonna take those hook fingers, the pointer middle finger, around both big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, elbows go out wide. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, go a little deeper if you can. One more inhale. And exhale, fold as deeper as you can. Next inhale, halfway lift. Ground both palms. Bend both knees, step the right foot back, left foot back, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upper dog, and low cobra, exhale, tuck those toes under, lift your hips up and back for downward dog. Another little fun challenge here, center the left foot, inhale, right foot, switch the sky, bend the right knee, open up the right hip. So you're looking under your right arm. Here. Now, this is as far as you feel comfortable. Stay here, please. If you have wild thing in your practice, I want you to drop the right foot behind your back and extend the right arm over head. Now, 
Next inhale, bring the right hand down, side to left. Let's move the left, right foot back to the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, break the hover under your chest. Lift up to your core to create space. Set the right foot through. Ground the back, 40, 45 degrees. Big inhale, warrior one. Next inhale, open up to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, right hand inside the right foot for triangle. And look up at the left hand. Perfect time to grab a block to put under your hand. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Inhale here. On your exhale, lift it up to your core. And send the right hand to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down to frame the right foot. Inhale, half for lift here. Exhale, fold. Next inhale, bend the right knee. Engage the core, lift the right foot. And place it beside the left. Exhale, down the chaturanga all the way down to your mat. Inhale, over dog and cobra. On your exhale, tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back for downward dog. Center the right foot here. Inhale, left foot straight to the sky. Bend the left knee, open up the left hip. So you're looking under your left armpit. And again, if wild thing is in your practice, then drop that left foot behind you and extend the left arm overhead. Try to lift those hips to the sky. On your exhale, bring the left hand down beside the right. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Exhale, left knee to your chest. Lift up to your core. And step the left foot through. Exhale, ground the left foot. Right foot, I'm sorry. Inhale, left foot. <laughs> Slow down. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Next inhale, open up to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, left hand inside the left foot. Extend the right hand to the sky. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inside the left foot, inhale. Exhale, twist. Send the left hand to the sky. Exhale, left hand. Frame the left foot. Inhale, half the left hand pyramid. And exhale, fold the left eye. Inhale, half the lift. Bend the left knee. Lift the left foot with the shoulder of your core. And extend the left foot back to the right. Under control. Exhale. Try to run it all the way down. Inhale, upper dog, a little cobra. This time I'm going to exhale. Come all the way down to your mat. Chest to your thighs. I'm sorry, chest to the mat. <laughs> all right, so from here, I'm going to extend your hands back. You're going to bring your chin to the mat. So we're going to activate the lower back here. So from here, inhale, lift your chest, send the hands back and then float the feet into low hips.
Next inhale, we're gonna hit the center. We're gonna go a little higher if we can. Don't let the head and shoulders. Bring those hands back. Lift the feet, see if you can get them a little higher. Now bring the left ear to the mat. Rest the shoulders and the head down. Challenge the one into full bow pose. So inhale, lift the head and shoulders, extend the hand back, float the feet for locusts. For those who want more of a challenge, gonna reach back, grab for the inside or outside of the ankles. Inhale, exhale, push into your legs, lift your chest, and legs off the mat. Inhale, come forward to all fours. Exhale, drop the hips down. Head up and back. Try not to crop, so you're gonna extend through the neck. Now let the uh, shoulders crop the neck. Inhale, bring those hips up and back. Exhale, drop your bottom down to your heels, child's pose. Inhale, come forward to all fours. Exhale, drop those hips down. Inhale, lift those hips up and back. Exhale, drop the bottom back. Jeez. Inhale, come to all fours. So walk your hands back to your knees. Come to hero. So you can tuck your toes under here. Or toe them down. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. You're going to stretch out the, the top of the feet. You can bring your palm to heart center. All right, so from here, we're bring those hands down. We're gonna slide the right leg forward. Sit on your bottom. Left foot forward as well. And then, we're gonna extend the right foot. Keep the left foot folded on the inside of the right thigh. Try to make sure that the inner thigh hugs toward the left foot. Inhale, square your hips in front of your mat and extend both hands to the sky. On your exhale, fold 
down towards the right leg. Now remember to elongate through your spine so you're not hunched over. You want to elongate, extend through the top of the head, the crown of the head, and fold chest to top. Inhale, come over the flat back. I'm gonna switch leg, extend the right. I'm sorry, the left. And fold the right, that's all I'm trying to say. I'm gonna point the toes of the left foot back towards you. Square your hips in front of your mat. Big inhale, flat both hands up. And exhale, fold down towards the left foot. And again, remember to elongate through your spine. And then fold chest to thigh. Pull those toes back towards your head to elongate your hamstring. I know runners and, and men in general have very tight hamstrings, so add to my hamstring stretch here. Inhale, come over the flat back. Extend the right foot down beside the left. This time, all two toes pointing back towards your head. Big inhale, fly both hands up. Exhale, fold. Same directive here. Extend through the crown of your head. And then fold just the top. Inhale, come over the flat back. I'm gonna scoot your bottom closer to your heels. Keep that left leg extended. You're gonna pull the right knee into your chest here. On your exhale, slow control, lay flat on your back with the right knee in your chest. Next inhale, extend the right hand out to the side. Left hand on top of your right knee, inhale. Exhale, extend the right leg over to the left side of your body. And look over at your right hand without straightening your neck. Exhale, the way to decompress the spine. And if you want more of a challenge, you can extend the foot. Wherever you are, if you extend the foot, bend the knee. Inhale, bring the right knee and the head back to center. Exhale, switch. Extend the right down toward the mat. Left knee into your chest. Inhale, extend the left hand out to the, scalp, to the side. And exhale, left knee to the right side of your body. And look over at the left hand without straightening your neck. Again, if you want more of a challenge, more of a stretch, even incorporating the IT band here, you can extend the leg and hold the foot, or even take those hook fingers around the, the right big tip, left big toe. And if you have the foot extended, bend the knee, Inhale, bring the left knee back to center. Exhale, pull the right knee up and tuck your chin between your knees. Inhale, lay your head and shoulders back. We're going to take four small circles to the right with your knees to the side of your lower back. So, little small circles. Lift up. Two more to the right. 
And then it'll fall in the center. And let's go to the left side. Last one. Inhale, here in the center. Exhale, tuck your shoulders between your knees. And on your inhale, release the legs all the way down to your mat. Head and shoulders on your mat. Palms up to the side, palms up and facing, eyes closed for Shavasana. And the goal here is to allow every muscle from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet to go completely limp. And on your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes to bring your awareness back to this space. Next inhale, bring your palms together over heart center, rub them together to create heat. And once your hands get nice and warm, take the heat that you just created and wash it over your face and body to wash away any tension or stress that still may reside within. And then toss it into the earth. On your exhale, pull both knees to your chest. Tuck your chin between your knees. And then for you, you're gonna roll over to your right side and use your right arm as a pillow for your head. I'm on the left so you can see me. On your next inhale, I'm gonna bring the right left hand down, I'm gonna push yourself up into a cross legged seat. Eyes still closed. This time I'm going to turn our palms upward facing on our thighs so that we can receive all the benefits of the work that we just put in. Next inhale, bring your palms together over heart center, thumbs resting against your chest. I want to thank you all for your practice, for your energy, for your patience. I hope that you were able to find more space in your mind and body than you did before you arrived here today. So thank you all, and namaste again. Thank you for, uh, from Knowledge Quest, and I'm Gene Williams from Premier Fitness. Namaste.